because my title is technically uh, called a associate cybersecurity analyst, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, kind of my day to day is kind of looking at security alerts, um, responding to those. And then can you we can cut this out, but can you okay. are you allowed to talk about your salary at all? Like, was there a range on the like a, the public job posting? And then did you have to negotiate or anything? Oh, that's a great question, too. So, yeah. Today's interview will be with a fellow YouTuber, actually. His name is Eric. He went through my cybersecurity course and ended up landing a remote SOC analyst position, which is super cool. He has a really good mic. It's really easy to listen to. He has a lot of good advice as well. So yeah, definitely watch till the end. I think it's gonna help out a lot. On to the interview. Hey everybody, Josh here. I'm a YouTuber and cybersecurity instructor. And we have Eric here who went through the cybersecurity course and did a bunch of other stuff probably and ended up getting a job and he agreed to come on and talk to us. So thank you. Thank you so much for coming on yeah no problem man no problem excited to uh get interviewed by you man <laughs> oh i appreciate it um do you oh so do you want to do a brief introduction of yourself and talk about what you're doing before you decided to get into cybersecurity and you're a youtuber right so maybe talk about yeah. that a little bit if you don't mind yeah 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 so yeah guys uh, my name is eric um i run several different youtube channels um Got some on gaming, uh, finance, uh, and I got a, one I'm kind of growing right now uh, dealing with cybersecurity. Um, I guess prior to me actually getting into cybersecurity, um, I've kind of worked in a lot of different fields, I guess, kind of when I was younger or as a kid. But um, outside of college, kind of been mainly IT oriented. And uh, yeah, um, I want to say, well, I guess probably once we get further on, I'll kind of give you more details on this. But yeah, kind of more of an IT background. Yeah. I oh, gotcha, gotcha. And as as far as your your new job goes, um, can you share like your new title and a bit of what you do on your today if, day to day if you started already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, this is my um, going on to my second week now. So I've been there for about a full week and a few days. And uh, I guess my title is technically uh, called a associate cybersecurity analyst, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, kind of my day to day is kind of looking at security alerts, um, responding to those. Um, and also too, a lot of onboarding right now, cause I haven't really did too much. Um, so maybe if I do like a mm. part two, I'll probably be able to, uh, talk on more, um, kind of what I'm doing, but right now kind of onboarding and responding to security alerts. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's like the security operations side of things. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part, at least right now, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Cool. And then from the time. Um, well, I'm kind of interested about like other stuff you did, but like from, from the time that you, <laughs> yeah. like how long did it take you to go through the course and then how long did it take you to like find your job? Like a after that? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I want to say, oh man, I wish I wouldn't uh, looked at my, um, <laughs> my notes some more. I probably do this, but, um, I think it took me about maybe three to four weeks to finish the course. Um, Initially, when I started the course, um, I really wasn't like on it too, too heavy for like the first and second week. And then like the mm -hmm. second, I mean, the third and fourth week, I kind of just went heavy and finished it off. And then um, I want to say I started applying to jobs kind of like right after that. So maybe about maybe about three to four months from completing the course, maybe or maybe about five. Yeah, maybe about four to six now, kind of thinking about it. Um, kind of okay. take me a minute. But uh I ended up taking the course a second time. Um, I want to say I took my second time about a couple months ago. And I kind of okay. felt like that kind of helped out a bit too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then do you have like um, Security Plus or any, like what uh, what other stuff did you kind of do that you felt helped you that might help the viewers? Outside yeah, the yeah. 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 So I got my um, A plus, um, well, IT of plus first, um, my uh, A plus second, and then my network plus and security plus. So yeah, I got like the trifecta there. Oh, um, I also got yeah. the AZ 900. Um, I got that in a internship I got with Microsoft. So I felt like that kind of helped out a bit too there. And um, I'm kind of working towards a few other certifications um, as well at the AZ 500. I really want to knock out. And um, the CYSA plus, I kind of want to knock out, okay. but then I got my job now. so. I'm kind of focused on that now, and then I'll circle back and probably knock those out. Yeah. Gotcha. And then normally I'd ask, like, oh, how's your life changed since you started the job? But, like, do you have uh, more stress doing incident response? Or maybe, maybe you might not have a good sense for it yet. 
since yeah yeah you still. yeah it's kind of like medium right now um still like so much kind of I'm kind of learning right now <laughs> so i guess yeah, it's kind of normal i'm uh, kind of going to cyber but um yeah i'm I'm definitely enjoying it so far yeah yeah <laughs> that's good yeah. all almost all my security jobs it feels like you're i don't like using this analogy but like drinking from the fire hose when you first start like it's kind of a lot of stuff yeah yeah my supervisor said the exact same thing yeah <laughs> so okay okay yeah <laughs> yeah um so like why did you uh why did you decide to go with the cybersecurity course out of you know all the other stuff like what made you like decide to go with it actually yeah yeah so probably yeah, i'm kind of just watching you on youtube um when i got interested in cybersecurity um after working at bluestacks um that's a like a gaming, like a software video game mobile style of a company. But during that mm -hmm. period working there, I kind of was like, you know what, it's probably that, you know, um, I guess time to maybe transition to something better. After seeing all these YouTube videos about people talking about cybersecurity, um, mm -hmm. you were one of the like bigger channels like, I was kind of following a lot. And I'm um, kind of just seeing. Oh, like other people, like Ferris, for example, I've seen his interview, I've seen a oh, couple yeah. other interviews, yeah, and uh, that kind of just got me like motivated. So, um, like during that period, I ended up taking another course uh, to get my trifecta, and then um, after that, I was like, okay, yeah, I, I need to really um, invest in myself. And I've just seen nothing but good things, you know, from your course, or at least from the people. And uh, yeah, that's kind of just cemented that. So I'm like, yeah, you know what, let me just give it a try. and. Oh man, I think that really helped me out a ton, a ton on my job search, man. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, did did you did you do the internship component as well? Or you didn't have to do deal with it. Yeah, I did do the internship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and I forgot to add that too. Um, so after I you know did the course, then I kind of worked on my internship for you. So that kind of probably okay. also um, affected my timeline. I just made sure I could get all my. Um, I guess helped in the Discord, so it took a it took me uh, maybe about a month or so. We're kind of helping out people there, and it kind of just I guess cemented my um, my knowledge of Azure, which I think helped out in interviews when I was able to talk about that. So, yeah, that was that was oh. great there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do <laughs> notice like the more you do stuff, like the more you do it, it becomes so much easier to talk about. <sighs> in the it does. It does. It does. Yeah. A lot of people brought it up when I'm talking about the, um, the sock net. So being able to explain that to everybody, I just felt like really helped me out, even though, um, man, the job market just applying to jobs, was, which was crazy. Like I applied to over a thousand jobs. Got, Damn. Yeah. I got to like the third interview so many different times. Um, I've got taken out to eat. Like it was so much, mm. and uh, <laughs> wow. and yeah, the job market is crazy. So I'm, I'm glad I'm I finally was able to um you know break into the cyber side of things. But yeah, it was definitely a journey. It was definitely a journey. Yeah. Do you remember like how many different companies you had to interview with by any chance? Um, Just the amount. Of yeah, I do. Um, I do have my sheet up here, but I don't have um the ones um like notated on the ones that I actually interviewed with. Um, yeah, but um. Okay. Yeah, after this interview, I can definitely count those. But yeah, it was, it was a okay. good amount. It was a good amount. <laughs> it's a decent, decent amount. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang, you put in the work though. Yeah, so thank you, good. thank you, thank you. Yeah, my current job was um, let me see, I think it was nine hundred. Um, let's see. Yeah, nine hundred twenty-two. So I applied to a thousand. Uh, 215 jobs, but the 922nd one was the one I actually got. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Good, good work. On yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Your, um, your tracker, they helped out so much. Um, just being able to document things, um, see the different prices, see which resumes Damn. I worked on. I think that all helped out, um, at the end. So, yeah, if I applied yeah. again, I think I could really knock it out the park um, a whole lot sooner now. And I got experience now, too, so I think that'll help out as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you notice, like, people, because there's, like, a lag sometimes between when you apply and when they, like, message you. Are people still, like, emailing you a bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's so crazy. Like, uh, about, uh, like, last week I got two um, second, I guess, interview stages. I'm like, wow, <laughs> I'm already started. So, yeah, I... It has been like a delay too. I forgot. Like, I'll pop to a job, 
And then I'll hear back from them like a month later. And then another month later, the second interview is like, yeah, it, it, it has been a big delay on a lot of these too. That's true. Yeah. It, yeah. It kind of feels bad, especially if like a good one reaches out to you and like already working. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And oh man, I got another crazy story. Um, if you don't mind me, I guess sharing this one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so um, I guess I can't say the name of, the, of this particular company per se, because I could potentially maybe work with them, like maybe in the future um, or somewhat. But anyway, um, like we did our first interview, everything went well. Um, and this is with like a gaming style company. So oh, wow. after our first interview, um, they were like, okay, you did a great job. We can do a second interview that same day. So did a second interview. I thought I knocked out the park and then had another interview later that um, week speaking with the team. I had everybody laughing. I thought I had the job. And then it kind of just fell flat. They said, I guess I didn't get it. And then they hit me back up about two weeks ago. I guess um, they didn't work out with the other cyber person. And they were like, yeah, um, we talked with our team. And when we opened up this position again, uh, everybody called you. Everybody said, yeah, you got to get Eric. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's, just, that's just crazy. Like, yeah, <laughs> the job, yeah, the job market is just, yeah, it's just wild sometime on that. Yeah. But you're like, oh, I already started. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe next time. Maybe in the future, once I get experience, I can ask for more money. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's. A, I mean, that's good. That's good problem. But I feel like, oh my god, I'll I'll feel like you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Can, oh, can you talk about um, your interview process or experience for either that one or your current yeah. one? Um, yeah. You don't have to like say what the questions are, but maybe like. Yeah. A sense for them and like how you prepared and like how did it go and all that yeah yeah so for my preparation um i actually watched your videos um you had like a playlist of like mm. um, maybe like 10 minutes each video and um what i would do i would watch those uh, two times speed like three times like like three times in a row so i watch one video watch it three times watch another video watch it three times and i would like set myself for about 30 minutes and mm. um like I can't say 100% of your questions were um, on every single interview, but like, I want to say at least 90, at least about 90, 90% of the question that you asked have been said to me in one of my interviews. So <laughs> wow. I, yeah, yeah, guys, if you're watching this, I definitely recommend that. Like um, going through those uh, interview questions, I felt like they helped me out a lot. Um, I also looked at some un interview questions over the um, behavioral or like the start method. I think that kind of mm -hmm. also helped out those two. Um, but yeah, with my um, with my current company, uh, they were actually very like lax. Like I didn't have to do three interviews, only had to do two, super chill. Um, they asked me some of the basic questions. I know some of those I did remember seeing from your interview questions, but I was hearing those so much by, by now, I kind of just knew it out of the top of my head. Um, I think that helped out yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yes. also too, I think being able to, um, again explain the uh, project because they asked about that and like that's another funny thing too like even though i have my microsoft internship i thought that would be something that people ask for a lot but surprisingly they asked more about the sock so yeah um that that project oh. people really love that and the documentation oh man so many people like love the documentation that um that you helped us out with so yeah that that was cool being able to talk about that they were like oh yeah we need somebody who can document I'm like, perfect. I like writing. I can use chat GP to help me out writing. So it's like, yeah, it just, it just felt like it was in unison uh, with my, uh, with the, with the current company that I interviewed with. But yeah, your interview questions helped out a lot, helped out a lot. That's fantastic. I'm glad to hear that. And I, by the way, for anyone watching, I, I made like kind of a new version of that. And there's like oh. one video that has 50 and it's like kind of long. So that, that exists too. So just FYI. Okay, yeah, I might take that one out too. Yeah, <laughs> I took the old, older ones out. That was perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And then, um, did you do like a, a Zoom with them, and then you could like show them your project, or do you just kind of like talk about it? The documentation, yeah. or how was that? Yeah, mainly just talking about it uh, through the Zoom call. But um, I never show. I, I guess I never shared my screen with any of them. Um, but okay. hey, yeah, maybe if uh, you know that comes up in the next interview, um, yeah, I guess I'll be prepared. <laughs> Sounds okay. good. And then can you, 
we can cut this out, but can you, are you allowed to talk about your salary at all? Like, was there a range on the, like a, the public job posting and then did you have to negotiate or anything? Oh, that's a great question too. So yeah, um, I, I want to say they said something I couldn't get to like the exact amount, uh, when I was talking mm-hmm. about, I might do an interview about this, but I can, I'm pretty sure I can give like a range. Yeah. So yeah, uh, my range, um, at least when I was looking at the post, uh, the post that said, um, I think 75 to a hundred thousand. And um, hmm. talking with the company, yeah, I was able to get uh, over 80K. I didn't get 100K, but it's within the 80 to 100 range. So, yeah, it was, oh, pretty, I, I think it was pretty good decent. for a good, uh, yeah, yeah, first first uh, cyber job. And it's fully remote. So I love that too. Yeah. Shoot, that's <laughs> that job everyone want to get, like remote security operations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is nice. It is nice. Can't complain. Can't complain so far. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, so like for anyone who's considering the course or in it, um, is there any like particular, I can probably get a sense for this from what you're saying, but is there any particular <laughs> part of the course that you recommend people to really pay attention to or like do many times? Yeah, definitely. The uh, project, um, you know, kind of just having it down or at least if you go through it slow, like I did my first time, at least kind of just like really understanding each, each section. I think that will help out tremendously. And then, yeah, uh, helping out people, too, on the internship. And then being able to explain that in your interviews, like how you help out people in their stock environments. Oh, man, mm. that will definitely, at least in my case, it will definitely get you to the third interview. I have any issue there. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and then um, this last one is not necessarily about the course, but just in general. Um, yeah. Because you, you did a, a great job um, executing you got a remote sock position so like yeah. as somebody who did that do you have any advice for them whether it's like mindset or something actionable just like what what do you yeah. think that would be beneficial to them yeah yeah um i think staying consistent <laughs> will definitely help out a ton um being open for um in office hybrid or remote kind of just being open for everything um when I was applying to jobs, like this particular job, it had it as uh, an office. So the whole time I'm thinking I'm going to be working in the office and then talking with the security guys found out I will be working remote. So I'm like, oh, it's even better. But um, mm-hmm. kind of just being able to, to stay consistent and kind of just be open for whatever. Like um, I was low key thinking about joining the FBI at one point because um, I, I originally applied last year, and um, I was kind of bullcrapping around during the Christmas time, and I forgot to take the test. So you get to wait okay. like 90 days <laughs> so you can uh, you know reapply. So I, I was going to reapply so I can uh, take the test, but then I got this job. But, yeah, just staying consistent, kind of just being open for you know whatever, if it's super close to you or maybe going that extra hour, hour and a half you know drive perhaps, kind of just being open mm-hmm. to all of it, at least for your first job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's really great advice um, because you know, if you're not open, you know, that could be yeah. the difference between getting a job in like three months versus like a year, depending yeah. on where you live. Right. Yeah. And, so true. So yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's better, in my opinion, to get experience like sooner rather than later, because you can suffer like, you know, driving <laughs> an hour and a half for like a, a few months and then you yeah. get experience and then you can like kind of work, you know more so wherever you want after you kind of have that first experience so that's really good advice thank you thank you yeah yeah like and also too yeah um i want to say i looked at one of your videos too talking about that um just being open so i think that kind of helped me too on that just hey even though i would like somewhere super close yeah yeah, this is my first job in cyber got to be able to take that sacrifice so i don't have to take it later so yeah 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 (laughs) absolutely but yeah (laughs) Uh, thank you so much. This is a really good interview. I'm for sure it's going to help a lot of people. Oh, so your your YouTube um, is it just oh. your your name yeah. to to find you on YouTube? Yeah, you can. Um, you could type in my name, um, but uh, Cyber Hawks that's my tech channel, and uh, Financial Hawks is my finance channel. So those are my two okay. um, main ones that I'm kind of going towards right now. Or playing around with more my other ones you don't have to worry about <laughs> <laughs> okay thanks I'll, I'll put them on the screen i'll like have it on the screen throughout the interview so they could just like find you there okay awesome awesome that sounds good that sounds good cool well thanks eric really appreciate yeah. having you on so thank you <laughs>